I'm Jill with thecarefreekitchen.com and I'm going to show you today how to make the most amazing homemade caramel. The ingredients for these are very simple. However, the key to creating this rich, amazing caramel is in the cooking process. Follow along and I will show you how to make these easy homemade caramels. Before we get started, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on social media, and I will show you all kinds of easy and delicious recipes your family will love. Okay, so to get started with this homemade caramel, the first thing I'm going to do, and this is an important step, and I'll tell you why, is uh, this recipe calls for one cup of butter. But before we add that to the pot, I'm going to unwrap my butter a little bit, and then use this to cover my casserole dish. And the reason why you wanna coat this with butter and not nonstick cooking spray is because that is the first taste you're going to get in your mouth. And of course, butter is so much better than nonstick cooking spray. So, we're just going to cover this, cover all the cracks and crevices here, the bottom, and then also up on the side. And we're going to make sure that it is covered on all sides really well so that nothing sticks. All right, after we have that done, we are going to unwrap this other cube of butter, and we're going to add one cube of butter over to our pot. And the pot that I'm using is a non-stick pot, and this is also really important. You can make it in just a regular pot, but I swear this is so much easier. So be sure you have a nice big non-stick pot to use. Okay, and then once your butter is just about melted, you're going to pour in your sugars. And I had a friend who shared a variation of this recipe with me a long time ago, and we lovingly refer to it as the cup of cup of cup of recipe because it's a cup of five things, but there's a few other variations that I've made, but it's a cup of butter, white sugar, brown sugar, carol syrup, and sweet condensed milk. So the next part is the white sugar. And you're just going to mix this up as you go so that nothing burns on the bottom. This is on medium heat right now. And then we have a cup of caro syrup. Just the light caro syrup works great. And then we have our sweetened condensed milk. And then I like to add about a half a teaspoon of salt and that just helps cut the sweetness a little bit. Also be sure with this recipe that you just constantly stir it. And I like to stir it in a pattern that goes vertical lines this way and then cross it this way and then go around. And I just do that constantly while this is stirring. And actually, after it comes up to a boil, it only takes eight or nine minutes for it to come up to temperature, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so this is what it should look like before it starts boiling, after you have mixed everything in. It's nice, smooth, creamy, caramelly looking. Okay, so one other thing that you wanna be sure that you have prepared before your caramel is boiling is I have a bowl here with some cold water in it. And I'm gonna show you how to do a softball testing and then also you can use a candy thermometer. And I just got this um, at my grocery store and I think it was like $6. So if you're gonna be making some caramel, this is a great tool to invest in. You can see here, it has all the temperatures here and the little thermometer just goes up. And we actually, there's a, a fun little cheat sheet here. And we are going to get this to softball stage. Um, so hardball is 260 and softball is 240. So that's the temperature that we wanna get our caramel to. All right, just stirring, stirring, stirring. My caramel is actually boiling now and I'm just constantly doing this pattern in my pan so that it does not stick. And this is called a rapid boil. So a rapid boil is when there's bubbles on top of bubbles. If it was just boiling, it would have like a singular bubble come up from the bottom of the pan. But this is a rapid boil and it needs to be in a rapid boil for six to eight minutes depending on how high your heat is. Um, I like to cook it a little bit lower to make sure I don't scorch this. Anyways, this is what your caramel should look like. Okay, now I'm going to 
put my candy thermometer. All right, 200 degrees. Okay, while we're cooking here, I'm gonna show you how to do a soft ball test. So I'm gonna use this spoon. I'm gonna take a little bit of it out and then I'll put it over here in my cold water. See if I can do this and keep stirring at the same time. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I should be able to like put this into, they call it softball stage because in cold water it cools off and you should be able to put it into like a ball. So this is almost softball stage. This actually would be perfect right here for like caramel popcorn because it wouldn't be too hard. It would be soft enough to chew. All right, you don't need to get new water every time. Just put it over. The best job is to have a kid who likes to taste test and that's the perfect thing to taste test. Okay, I'm still stirring, going horizontal and then vertical to keep it from scorching and then going around. And it's only been about six minutes. So I think we are probably getting close. I'm just gonna put this in here. This caramel is also really awesome to drizzle over pretzels with maybe a little bit of white chocolate or milk chocolate, or it's the perfect caramel to eat out of a pan. You can pour it into a nine by 13 like we're doing today, cut it up. You could dip it in chocolate if you want. You could sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on it. It is a really pretty and actually a really easy recipe. The hardest part is just the stirring, the constant stirring, but it's only for a few minutes, so it's not too bad. All right, so far we are at 205 degrees. So we've just got about 50 more degrees to go. Okay, I'm gonna try another softball test. I'm going to get a little bit of it, put it in my bowl. See, it's really close, but not quite there. So you can use the softball test or you can use a thick candy thermometer. I'm just showing you both along the way so that you can have a really successful caramel making experience. All right, I'm gonna try and show you. We are just touching that line for softball stage, so I'm going to take it off the heat and then I will show you with the cold water method also. All right. So as you can see, it kind of it keeps its shape there. So this is perfect. You don't want it too hard that's gonna break your teeth or pull a filling out, but you also want it hard enough that it's gonna keep its shape. So there we go, softball stage. Okay, and before we put it in the pan, I'm going to pour in about a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. And we don't wanna add this until the very end or else it will lose its flavor. All right, and now into our pan. Okay, so now I have my caramel in my pan. We're just going to let this sit just right here on the counter for about 45 minutes to an hour or until I can cut it easily. So, mmm, it smells so delicious. Check out that beautiful caramel, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this caramel. It looks so amazing and the texture looks just about right. So let's try it out and see how it works. Okay, here are my homemade caramels. And the way I like to serve it, I like to grease a plate again with butter and then set the caramels on there and you can actually use some salt. This is some San Francisco French sea salt. Um, I like to get the little bit of crumble salt or like the flake salt. You can order that on Amazon. Or I found this, um, it's a little bit more of like a crumble texture and I found it at Albertson. So you can just put a little bit in your hand and then add it right to the top of your caramels and it is so pretty. This is a fun dessert to serve at a party or around the Christmas time. It's a perfect gift to give your friends or your coworkers. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode at the Carefree Kitchen and if you would like the printable recipe or more tips and tricks, go to my website, thecarefreekitchen.com and you can find all the tips and tricks there and a few more variations on the recipe also. All right guys, well thanks for watching and again be sure to hit like and subscribe and follow me on social media and you can follow along while I help you make delicious and easy meals your entire family will love. Thanks for watching, bye. These caramels are chewy, melt in your mouth, deeply sweet and insanely addictive. Your family's going to love this easy homemade caramel.